Hey, welcome back to the Jetcast channel. Thanks for joining me again. I'm sorry I haven't had any videos to put up for the last couple of weeks. It's been really, really tough fishing for me. Uh, the time that I have been able to get out in the water hasn't been the greatest of, of uh, conditions for fishing. And I didn't think that any of the days out were really worthy of a full video. So um, I did manage to get out a couple of days ago. Although, you know, the fishing was still fairly average for me. I, I did have an interesting day and I, I think I'll show you that footage today. Uh, but also, if you, if you stick by till the end of the video, uh, I got some great footage from one of my regular fishing buddies, Mick Duncan, who went out a couple of days later at a different spot. So um, some really nice catches on that. So stick around and uh, you'll see what I mean. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time between fishes. Today I've actually driven a fair way very early. I've driven from Brisbane to Noosa today to get out here at um, before, before light actually, so I left home very early. I was greeted with quite a bit of bait on the reefs here, but they're all like those little pilchards, so um, not ideal uh, bait to use because they die pretty quickly for um, you know for trolling baits and live baits they're, they're not very good at all they're great for bottom bashing you know pilchards are great for that uh, but I did manage to catch um, some yakkers and um, what I did originally was troll some hard bodies and then I thought oh, I'll get some live bait because there's a fair bit of bait around realized they're pilchards but I did manage to catch one yakker and I put it out um, around here and um, Unfortunately, I missed a very good fish. It just wasn't a good hookup. It might have even been a foul hookup because I tell you what, it was the strongest pull I've ever had. Look, I'll roll you that anyway. It was actually quite a quite a nice um, bit of action for the day. Um, while I was trolling earlier on, I did manage to catch something, so I'll roll that video very soon as well. At the moment, what I'm doing is I've managed to pick up a couple of nice um, yakkers, a couple of very large ones actually, and I've got them both out on live bait rigs drifting so I'm just drifting through I'll probably do a little bit of trolling later but at the moment when there's very little breeze um, I figured just drift through the uh, reef here and the bait and see what I could pick up
little spotty. A little spotty. Oh yeah, looks legal. Not huge, but I thought I had two on there, so let's just make sure he's legal. Oh, it is at 60 centimeters for a spotty, I think. It's pretty close. Yeah, he's legal. There we go. Little spotty mackerel. Jeez, they're, they're just legal though. Just legal. Didn't even know I had him on. There you go. So I'm uh, over a lot of bait at the moment and um, there's some birds just starting to come around again. There's, there's been a bit quiet for the last hour so it could just be the spotty mackerel. There's quite a lot of small spotty mackerel out here today. Um, when I was busting up earlier I threw everything at them. I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't catch any. I tried different lures, everything, and different techniques and they wouldn't take it and they were just eating and feasting on the, the pilchards so they only had eyes for pilchards. Even my Helco twisties didn't seem to attract them. So while I'm slow trolling out my yakas out, I'm just picking up some bait as I go just in case I run out. And there's some very nice sized yakas today, which I've attracted bait to catch the uh, pelagics. Just making very careful, with, I've got two lines out, so I'm very careful about fouling. Lines. I already had a tangle up when I was trolling, which was very frustrating. Uh, but the birds are working over to my right. As I said, I'm just looking for um, some more yakka schools if I can, or slimy mackerel schools. I haven't seen any slimy mackerels yet. But with my live bait out, I'm just going to go quite slow. I don't want to blow them out. It's fine to sort of be under the, under the water, staying alive. I should get really close now, so just catch my sabiki rod. If anybody's not seen this before, it's a two-piece sabiki rod. The sabiki line goes up the tube and it's perfect for jet skis because you don't want to get yourself fouled on those hooks. I folded it in half carefully because of the joint may break. Stow it. That's out of the way. Come on, big fish. We want a nice. Well, a couple of big spotties would be even better. Saw something jump, then it might have even been Marlin. Who knows? No, it's not jumping now, so it might have been a mackerel coming out of the water to hit it. So I put a quite a good yakka. Big. Hopefully not a shark. It's coming up to the top. That's why I think there might be a shark. I hit it. That'd be a bit of a shame. Come right up the top. Little baby male. That'll be nice. <laughs> Got 
a bit of weight in it. It'll be a long fight. Settle in. Jeez, oh, it's heavy. Just let it wear itself out a bit, I hope. Oh, oh, oh. If it's a nice Spanish, I'll be very happy. <laughs> so that's what I put it out for. It's on a wire trace. I'm not getting too excited yet. It's not a tuna. I might spin my ski around. And just see if I can get on the other side of it. So that's nice bloody bricked me. What is that? It's long, it might be a mackerel. Oh, I hope so. Me around, might get a gaff ready just in case. I eh? he's doing a little boat circles now, so let's let him wear himself out. Man, it's got some weight in it. Just give him a little bit, I don't want to break it. The mackerel is a good size. There's no way I'm lifting this without snapping the line, so I'm just letting it drag. We're only in 20 meters here. Oh, far out. It is a very decent fish. You can hear the line under tension. Every time I grab a meter, it pulls it back. He's gonna have to wear himself out soon. We've got leader. I'm just gonna loosen my drag off a bit. I just don't want to snap. See the drag pulling there. If this is a mackerel, this is the strongest one I've had, I think, ever. If it's a shark, I'm going to be very disappointed. I, I haven't got a good look at it, except it's long and it had some weight in it, so silver. Just wear yourself out, buddy. He's going to have to wear himself out soon. There he goes. I think he's just about had enough. He's got off. Jesus. How'd he get off that? He must have been on the small hooks. Very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Jeez, that's disappointing. That was a beautiful, I think it was a Spanish. It was a good size. I guess that's fishy. So that was pretty much it for the day. I, I came in um, and uh, licked the wounds, uh, had a little chat to some friends who sort of gave me some tips about uh, actually catching marlin. You know, I was on a mackerel rig, so very small hooks and very thick hooks for the bait hooks. So, you know, the chances of, of a good hookup with a, with a marlin is limited. 
but you know it does happen and as you saw the, the fish was on for quite a while and if I'd known it was a marlin I guess I would have been a little bit more careful about putting any hurt on it well anyway two days later uh, one of my regular fishing buddies Mick Duncan went out on the southern end of the Gold Coast so that's that was about 300 kilometers from where I was and he went out in some atrocious weather uh, you'll see what I mean in a second because I've got some video to show you uh, and he actually did a lot better than I did uh, so I want to just show you those highlights because I thought it was worthy of uh, putting it up on the channel. Watch out for Barney, watch this machine down here. Whoa. I'm going to stick it out. I want to get too spotty. Well, the spotty and the Spanish. But uh, yeah, I'm not going back in until I get one. Wow. This is I was having no luck with the dead bait, just absolutely nothing. Well, I just switched over to high speed lure, 10 minutes in, bang. There's big clouds of bait everywhere. Big, big skills of mackerel back in on Fido's, I can see. Should have stayed there actually. But I think this is a big fish. Geez, I hope it's not a Mac tuna. God. I'll die. It's a good mackerel. Ah, oh, it's a spotty. Large spotty. It's a good spotty. Leaving the other line out now. Only three times I've lost fish trying to retrieve the other line in. Gotta keep the pressure on these bastards. Get them off. Got you, you bugger. <laughs> yes. What a fight. What a bloody fight. First Spaniard of the year. Yeah, so that was a great catch by Mick, uh, good on him. I'm getting jealous I haven't caught my first Spanish of the season yet. But I will try again and if I do any good I'll put it up on the channel. So thanks again for watching the video through and uh, that could be my last one for this year. I'm off on some other activities uh, which may keep me away from the water again. 
back in January. I uh, hope to have some videos up and of course January to April is a really good time for fishing around here and um, I assume we'll do better than we have in the last couple of weeks. So thanks for coming back. Uh, if you're not a, a subscriber of the channel, please hit that subscribe down at the bottom. Uh, if you think it's worth a like, give us a like. It helps uh, the virality of the videos. And I hope to see you in 2023.